At IDEX this year, Denel Vehicle Systems are selling their RG41 wheeled armoured combat vehicle. This was developed as a private venture by the company and so far two vehicles have been completed and these have undergone extensive trials not only in South Africa but also in the Middle East. This vehicle, shown this year, has been fitted with a number of subsystems because very often at a show you'll find the prime contractor for the platform, the chassis, brings the vehicle to the show then other companies add bits on to show their capability. So if we take a look at this particular vehicle, First of all, at the front, on the top of the hull, is the Zaslon. That is the hard-kill active defence system developed in Ukraine. And that particular one covers the frontal arc, but you will have another of systems around the vehicle to provide you 360-degree coverage. And if we look on top of the turret, you'll see another device, and that is a Pillar V acoustic gunfire detection system. And what that does is, is scanning through 360 degrees and above, and detects incoming small arms fire. So if it's near the vehicle, it will alert the operator as to why, what that is. Would it be a machine gun or perhaps a heavier weapon? And then the operator would decide what to do. In the case of some vehicles, he could fire smoke discharges and layers obscurant. But if the vehicle was fitted with a remote weapon station or some turrets, he could press a button and the turret would automatically swing onto the incoming threat and then he would take the decision as to whether it, to engage the threat or not. The vehicle inside is footed to the full suite of Leonardo subsystems and the actual turret, which is being shown for the very first time this year, has also been developed by Denal Vehicle Systems and is an evolution of another turret. What is unusual about this turret is its modular construction. It's armed with a 30mm cam gun, dual feed cannon with a 7.62 machine gun. And the unique feature of it, you can actually top up the ammunition from Under Armour, so that, that's very useful. So the, this particular turret is, is just been completed. Um, they did announce at AED last year that they hope to ready it this year, so just in, completed in time for the show. It could be operated by one man as a gunner, or it could be operated by two person crew, a commander and gunner, seated under protection in the hull. It's fitted with a pleak armour, which is scalable, so a key feature of the turret is its modularity, which enables it to be tailored to meet the end user's specific requirements. For example, some customers may want a rather simple site, other people will probably want a day thermal site incorporating a laser rangefire with a computerized fire control system.